So we got a few computers over here that uh, came in because um, they don't want them anymore. They want to recycle them. I thought they were actually pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, we can use them for maybe like another workstation. Uh, I'm assuming that the reason they didn't want them was because they were running slow since uh, the fans were actually clogged with a bunch of uh, dust and the uh, uh, thermal paste was actually dry but I'm not really sure now um, they came out, they came in without uh, RAM and without um, a um, a drive so all I need to put in here is just some um, RAM and some um, random SSD that I had laying around so this actually supports up to i7 but we have we have here an i5 CPU. Let me zoom in on that. That's actually not bad. It's just good enough for basic stuff, maybe like answering emails or opening applications such as uh, CXW, um, Warview, whatever whatever we can use it for. It's always good to have a computer laying around that someone else can use. Now, um, I did have this RAM laying around and it, it's four gigabytes each. I'll probably upgrade in the future if, if I can, but if this works, perfect. So let's just install the RAM. So eight gigabytes of RAM. Now I believe I already cleaned it up a little bit since um, the air compressor is quite loud, and I just didn't want to actually include that in the video. Um, so the next thing I believe would be to put the heatsink. It's just a well-designed heatsink. I actually like it. And. Before we do that, we need some thermal paste. I use the MX4 thermal compound from Arctic. I actually like this thermal paste a lot. It's pretty good. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. For some reason, it's really hard to open, so. There we go. Just a tiny bit. All right, that's pretty good. Then we just install this. Now I'm thinking of just installing Windows 10 in this, even though it only supports up to Windows, I think eight. But yeah, if it works, it works. If not, then I'll figure it out. All right, so this actually goes like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. It got everywhere. Damn it. <laughs> Let's try that again. I feel like these cables are just gonna get in my way. There we go. Much better. I think that's good. All right, let's just screw those in. God damn it.
I, Windows 10 actually doesn't work on this. I can always install Windows 7. Anything but Windows 8. Windows 8 is just uh, such a bad piece of software. Anyways, there you go, that's done. And Does it go like that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm using the snap button. There we go. And there's an SSD. Wow, these are actually pretty neat. Hmm. Uh, something is supposed to hold this together down there. So it's gonna be sticking up. Don't like that idea. Alright, for now I think that's going to work. We'll test it out, and if that works, then perfect. Uh, let's see, so what else? The antenna seems to be... It's actually kind of loose. Alright. So it has a good amount of ports. And then you can connect three monitors at the same time. All right. Um, in the front, you got even more ports: USB uh, 2.0, SD card reader, microphone, and headphones. All right. So let's actually install Windows 10 on this computer. Something that is actually pretty funny, uh, and I just noticed, is that um, this computer actually doesn't have a uh, cable. Uh, uh, a um, power cable so uh, I ended up actually getting my uh, universal charger for laptops which I ended up cutting so I can connect directly to my power supply and it does have one of the tips that it, uh, a tip that is compatible with this computer um, so in order for this computer to turn on, I need around 19 volts. Right now I have set at four. All right, so 19 volts and positive. Positive, negative, there we go. Then I'm gonna need, huh, it automatically consumes, that's actually weird, let's connect our HDMI, then I'm gonna need a keyboard, let's see what I have around, Found the keyboard. Don't judge my keyboard. Nobody likes my keyboard. There we go. Let's just connect that and see if we can put it into the slider. Right. What's going on? Where's my installer actually? Huh. 
and now the second. Whoops. Let me connect my fan. Should be good to go. And this clip is just so long. There's nothing wrong. Alright, let's try that again. Press F1 to continue. So right now, 19 volts consuming 2 amps. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get a good uh, charger for this. Have to look around, uh, maybe on Amazon or eBay, who knows. Alright, so this is the installer. This is probably going to take a while, so I'll probably uh, pause the video. And then um, once it installs, then you know we'll take it from there. Alright, I don't have a product key yet. Go with Pro. There we go. Gotta accept the license terms. And oh wow, that's pretty quick. All right, this is probably going to take uh, around I don't know, like twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Who knows? Uh, so I'll pause the video here and then I'll show you guys if later on if this computer works correctly or not. And there it is. So it actually works perfectly fine. Um, let's see, maybe later. Hmm, it's already, I think it's already, uh, I don't, I need, I don't need a, uh, product key. This actually activity itself uh, automatically and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, an Intel Core i5 CPU 3 gigahertz and like I said a hundred I think it was a hundred and eighty gigabytes a hundred and I can't remember how much was it 120 so it's working perfectly perfectly fine and something I did uh, notice is that this is compatible up to 4k so this machine is actually pretty powerful um, so maybe I can probably sell some of them online if anybody's interested just uh, send me a message uh, I'll try and see if I can put something together for you if not then I'll just put them on, on eBay whoever wants to, uh, wants to take them uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you actually learned something from this, uh, leave some comments below. If you didn't like anything as well, leave some comments below. I always like uh, hearing from my audience. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.